This is it. This is my 24-hour comic for 2018 at the Mayflower Park Hotel in Seattle. This was completed October 5th through 6th, 2018. And I'm very happy with it. It's a 12-page comic, especially uh, created for the 24-hour comic challenge. There's cards in between this narrative, and each card would stand alone as a page. And uh, it's a combination of history and slice of life, and it uh, follows our main character, Emily, and her troubles and tribulations, and uh, her talking to a friend about it kind of helps. And it starts out with Emily being happy in the first panel, but then she uh, starts to quiet down. Things are going well except for her boyfriend, Phil. We don't know that much about Phil, but we just know she's not too pleased with him. And here she is, she's waiting for Phil, but uh, he never shows up and that seems like a usual thing. And then we segue to a transition where uh, Emily's speaking to someone, but it turns out it's not Phil, it's a, a close friend. It's nice to see you made time for me. That's what friends do. Sorry about Phil. And then we make a big leap as uh, Emily introduces a whole new element. She says, let's not worry about Phil. Look what I found. It's an old copy of Western Hotel Employee Magazine. Back when they owned Mayflower Hotel, can you imagine if we worked at the hotel back in the 1940s? And that is a uh, illustration in WHEM, Western Hotel Employee Magazine, and it's a bunch of uh, characters that you might think uh, would be uh, stock characters in a hotel. And I went ahead and brought them all to life. There's the waitress, the doorman, the waiter, the hotel agent, the chef, the hotel secretary, one bellman, the second bellman, and housekeeping staff. So Emily concludes, life was harsh then, and it is now. But there are, set, there are setbacks, but we persevere. The old Mayflower was almost demolished. Bernie and Marie Dempsey had the courage to save it. Indeed, the Mayflower Park Hotel is a Seattle landmark, and for good reason. And then we close out with uh, Emily and her friend at the uh, Oliver's Tavern or Oliver's Lounge, which is the hotel bar for the Mayflower Park Hotel. So we're inspired by Mayflower Park. That's why we drink at the hotel's bar, Oliver's. Wait, is that Phil? And then we see uh, casual pose, not particularly caring pose. Hey there, I'm sorry. And Emily closes out the comic with, no dude, we need to talk. Experience, I'm glad I got a chance to just uh, go all out. That's a drawing I did, right, of this, uh, of this space here. And you can see it's, it's well lived in. I've done my best. And there's looking out the window, and it's funny, there's the Weston Towers, and uh, the Mayflower Hotel was owned by Western Hotels, which subsequently became Weston. And in between the Weston Towers is one of the uh, Amazon uh, skyscrapers. So it's all very interesting, and down below the uh, Times Square Flatiron Building where the Seattle Times used to be. 
So just a beautiful experience. Maythar Park Hotel is a gem, no doubt about it.